2019 Asian Cup enters match day number three. Who's still got a chance? Who's already through? We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time looking forward to match day number three in the 2019 Asian Cup. Now, we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button and keep you bang out to date with all things Asian Cup related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, let's take a look at it. Uh, before we get into match day number three, we're going to take a look back at match day number two, see how I got on uh, with my prediction, see how many I got right, and see how many I got wrong. Now, obviously... Group A and also a little bit of Group B is pretty hard to call. I just can't call it um, as Bahrain took on Thailand. Uh, ended up being a 1-0 win in favour of Thailand. So give themselves a good old chance to get through to knockout stages. I went with a 2-0 win in favour of Bahrain. Now Bahrain are completely out of this, I think. I got no chance to get through to the knockout stages. Uh, but I've had India up against the United Arab Emirates. Obviously India opened up with a fantastic win. Um, uh, ended up being a 2-0 win for the hosts. Uh, I went in fact in favour of India because I thought, I just thought that the, 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 uh, the luck was with them, but ultimately it was not so. Two out of two, completely wrong. Now, how about Jordan up against Syria? Ended up being a 2 0 win in favour of Jordan. That's right. And once again, I did not want, know what to do with this one. I ended up with a 2 2 draw. So I got that one absolutely wrong. Now, the Aussies, though, the Socceroos, obviously the champions, uh, they suffered a bit of a sloppy one in the first game, but they bounced back with a 3 0 win up against Palestine. And I got this one right on the money, boys and girls. Absolutely spot on. 3 0 win in favour of the Socceroos. How about Philippines? We get to China. Now, China could be a bit of a dark horse for the tournament. Ended up being a 3-0 win for them over the Philippines. I went with a 2-1 win uh, out in Group C uh, for China. Now, Kajikistan up against South Korea. Again, one of the hot favourites. I think the, the next game between China and South Korea is going to be so tight. Uh, but I go, it ended up being a 1-0 win in favour of South Korea over Kajikistan. I went with a 3-1 win uh, in favour of South Korea. So I got a correct result, uh, incorrect scoreline. Over in Group D now, Iran and Iraq seem to be running away with it. Uh, Vietnam could not get anything up against Iran, ended up being a 2-0 win. I went in favour of a 4-2 win, though, in favour of Iran. So again, correct result, just incorrect scoreline. Moving on to Yemen, up against Iraq, and again Iraq up against Iran next. Could be a tight one uh, over in Group D. Ended up being a 3-0 win in favour of Iraq. Uh, and I went with a 3-1. So just the one goal shy, uh, but not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Lebanon and up against Saudi Arabia. Now, the Saudis seem to have got Group E well under control. Ended up being a 2-0 win uh, for the World Cup uh, participants. Uh, in the 2018 World Cup participants, Saudi Arabia, doing the business. And I got this one spot on the nose, boys and girls. Absolutely bang on. 2-0 uh, win in favour of Saudi. Meanwhile, also in Group E, North Korea up against Qatar. Woo! Absolute battering by uh, Qatar. Taking home all uh, three points and giving themselves a good old chance to get out of the group. Uh, and I went with a 3-1 win in favour of North Korea. Now wrapping up uh, this uh, group, uh, the match day number two. Uh, Japan up against Oman ended up being a 1-0 win for Japan. Who again looked to be on, on course for a spot in the knockout stages. Uh, I went with a 2-0 win for Oman. And then wrapping it up, Turkmenistan up against Uzbekistan. The battle of the stands, uh, Uzbekistan coming out on top quite convincingly in the end. Uh, and I went with a 2-1 win. So again, not too shabby, not too shabby. So only three absolute nightmare predictions for me. The rest, not too bad. So I think my uh, I think my prediction, my success rate is on the, uh, is on the up. But anyway, wrapping it up into uh, match day number three. Who's going to get through? Who's going home? United Arab Emirates up against Thailand. Obviously, Thailand not, not doing the business so far. They're actually struggling. Um, I don't see that improving whatsoever. I see uh, United Arab Emirates coming out on top and probably top in the group with a 2-1 win over Thailand now. Meanwhile, who else is going to go through? Is it India? Is it Bahrain? Can Bahrain upset the apple cart? Thailand could possibly squeeze through as well if India were to get beat and beaten heavily. Uh, but I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw, which would give India four points. Uh, and then maybe it'll keep, it'll keep Thailand at a guessing game. They might just squeeze through as one of the best third place teams. Meanwhile, uh, Palestine up against Jordan and Group B. Jordan flying high with two wins out of two up against Palestine with uh, who have had one point so far after that draw against Syria. I'm going to go with a 2-0 win in favour of Jordan and they'll wrap it up with three wins out of three top the group and through to the knockout stages. But who will join them? Uh, obviously Syria with one point up against Australia who have got three points. A win for Syria could see them leapfrog Australia but I don't see it happening. I see the Aussies coming out on top with a 3-1 win. Over in Group C, China and South Korea dominate it with two six points uh, against each other. 
locking horns for the for the outright victory. Who's going to come out top? We're going to give a South Korea on this one. 2-1 win uh, to see South Korea go through. And China as runners-up. Kajikistan and Philippines duking it out for a spot. Uh, possibly best third place uh, spot. But they need to win. But I don't see it happening. 2-2 draw. Philippines and Kajikistan should go out uh, with just the one point. Vietnam up against Yemen over in Group D. Both sides again going out with uh, uh, zero points. They need a win. I see Vietnam coming out on top though. 3 2-0 uh, to give themselves three points and possibly a sneaky backdoor into the knockout phases. Iran up against Iraq. Who's going to come out on top on this one? I think we're going to have to go with Iran on this one. 3 0 win uh, to comfortably dominate the group and possibly my tip for the title, but we'll talk about that in another video. Saudi Arabia up against Qatar now. How about this one? Group E, uh, Saudis and Qatar. Again, a lot of these uh, final matches involve the two stronger nations. Uh, and I'm going to go with Qatar to lose this one. Saudi Arabia are going to pick up the big fat win, 2-0, uh, uh, to get themselves, again, uh, command of the group and into the next stages. Qatar will join them as runners-up, so, no, so don't worry there, boys. But who will, could one of the uh, uh, other nations in Group E squeeze past and get into the knockout stages? Lebanon up against North Korea. Really, only one side in this one. Lebanon with a big fat 2-0 win over North Korea, and they'll play the waiting game to see if they can go through. And wrapping it up, Group F, Japan up against Uzbekistan. Now, Uzbekistan, obviously... Um, Look pretty decent. I think uh, they're a force to be reckoned with, but I don't think they're gonna they're gonna get past Japan. I think Japan will come out on top, three uh, one. Uzbekistan will probably come through as uh, second place. Uh, Turkmenistan will take on Oman in the final game. I think those two games actually take place at the same time, but Oman will come out on top, two nil winners uh, to give themselves a possible sneaky back door into the knockout phases. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang out to date with all things Asian Cup related. Blackburn Rovers related, World Football related, we're going to all here under one roof. Also, check out the old description. Links to my social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, it is all in there for your leisure. Uh, but obviously, after the conclusion of these games, we'll go again and we'll do the knockout phases. But let me hear your thoughts and opinions about the old matches. Who do you think is going to go through? Who do you think is going to win? Uh, and all that kind of good stuff. And see how many you can get right. And see how many you will get wrong, folks. Because it's not easy. It's not easy trying to predict these scores. It is very tricky as a, as a, as a casual viewer of Asian football. Anyway, until I see you again, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.